Game Play Ability System or GAS is a framework developed as a plugin by Epic Games. GAS makes game development much more easier and it speeds up the development of RPG type of games with different abilities for the characters. And it also supports multiplayer features with ready to use and easily maintainable approach. Setting up the gameplay ability system manually needs significant work in C++. But the Lyra framework is already built on top of the gameplay ability system. This makes it even more easier with a lot more reusable features, making the gameplay development an enjoyable experience. Let us explore the features of GAS at a high level in this section. And throughout this course, as we explore Lyra, we will be dealing with different aspects of GAS. First and foremost thing in GAS is the gameplay abilities. The abilities are the capabilities which can be built around a character or a weapon held by the character or even the game itself. For example, the character can have the abilities like jump, dash and throwing grenades. The weapon pistol held by the character can have the abilities like fire and reload. The game itself can have abilities like auto respawning the character after death. Next is the attribute. The attributes are mainly used to store values for different aspects of the character. The character health is a good example for attributes. The health value is used throughout the game for different features. For example, the health bar shown in the screen displays the health attribute value. When the health becomes zero, the character dies. Next, we will look into the gameplay effects. Effects are used for different purposes which we will explore in a separate section. At a high level, the gameplay effects are used to change the attribute values. The damage effect reduces the health attribute. The heal effect adds to the health attribute. We also have gameplay cues. Cues are used mainly for visual and sound effects for specific events in the game. For example, detonating a grenade involves a blast sound, smoke and a camera shake. Next, we have gameplay tags. They are the identity of the gameplay ability system. Every gas feature is identified by a gameplay tag which is a hierarchical name. For example, gameplay ability hero jump is identified as ability.type.action.jump. Similarly, the gameplay queue for weapon pistol fire is identified as gameplay queue.weapon.pistol.fire. Gameplay tags are used for abilities, events, message, HUD slots, input, queues, and effects. Finally, we have the gameplay messages and events. The gameplay messages are a way for the communication between different components or modules in the gameplay ability system. A good example is the respawn timer shown on screen when the character dies and then respawn. The respawn widget displayed on screen receives the gameplay message with the duration data from the gameplay ability auto respawn. Thank you for watching this lecture. See you in the next one.